Hello everyone, so welcome to Mathematics Tour. This is Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics, written in May, June 2024. This is paper 2, variant 1 for extended students. In this playlist, there are three videos, parts 1, 2, and 3 respectively. In Part 1, we have questions 1 to 8. In part 2, we have questions 9 to 16. And in part 3, we have questions 17 to 24. If you are seeing this channel for the first time, please kindly subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Also, like, comment, and share this video. Let's jump into the first question the temperature at midnight is negative 4 degrees celsius the temperature at noon is 25 degrees celsius work out the difference between the two temperatures so that will be 25 minus negative 4 so these two signs combine together to become positive 25 add 24, that will be 29. So the difference is 29 degrees Celsius. Question 2. A gardener charges $6.55 for each hour he works plus a fixed charge of $15.5. Calculate the total amount he charges when he works for 4 hours. So for 4 hours, that will be 4 times the amount for each hour that will be six point five five dollars then plus the constant uh, or the fixed charge okay that will be plus fifteen point five zero so if you um, do this so everything add up to uh, forty one point seven so you can use your calculator to to do this so you get 41.7 dollars so that is what you get here so let's go to the next question a delivery driver records the number of pizzas she delivers each month for one year complete this term and leave diagram we have two years so let's look into the key the key is uh four slash 8 represent 48 pizzas okay so you have 22 here so that will be 2 2 so this one is gone 2 2 then we have 28 okay so you have 8 here so we have 36 okay so this is 36 so you put 6 here so we have 39 so you put 9 here so you have 41, you put 1 here, you have 44, so you put 4 here, you have 48, you put 8 here, you have 49, you put 9 here, and the next one will be 52 down here, this is 52, so you put 2 here, you have 54. Four, so you put four here. We have fifty-seven. So you put seven here, and we have fifty-seven again. So you put seven here. Okay. So these are the um, numbers we have. Okay. So you can about this just to show, just to be sure that I didn't leave any number behind. Okay. So we have this then um let's go to part b find the median so if you come from the front we have okay let's see one two three four five six we have 12 uh 12 numbers okay so if you come from here one two three four five okay so from the front so from the back one two three four five okay 
so the number is between the median is between this and this so mind you this is now four and eight so we have um 44 and 48 so we need to get the mid number okay between 44 and 48 so you may want to do 44 add 48 divided by 2 okay so if you do this you get 46 alternatively if you have 44 so in between 44 okay let me show this you have 44 you have 45 you have 46 you have 47 and you have 48 okay so you can see that this is 44 and this is 48 so the mid number is this so this is 46 that is alternatively okay done okay so let's go to the next question that will be question four okay so um, Jonah has seven hundred and fifty dollars he spends one quarter of this money on travel okay so that is one quarter that is one fourth on travel and some of these 750 dollars on food okay so he now has 437.5 dollars work out a fraction of the seven seven hundred and fifty dollars he spends on food okay so the first thing we need to do is to get the amount spent uh, amount uh, expense on travel so that will be for travel okay so that's right this so for travel so you have one over four multiplied by seven seven hundred and fifty dollars okay so if you do this with your calculator so you should get one hundred and eighty seven point five dollars so this is the amount uh, expense on travel so next is to get the money spent the money expense on um, food okay so that means for food okay so it will be two two amount that is seven hundred and fifty dollars minus the amount he spends on travel that is one hundred and eighty seven point five then minus the amount he has left that is four hundred and thirty seven point five zero okay so if you do this um you get one hundred and twenty five dollars so that means he spends $125 on food. Okay, so the fraction now. Okay, so the fraction of food okay, will be equals to 1 to 5 over um, 7, 5, 0. Okay, so uh, 125 goes to 125 once. Uh, 125 goes in 750 six times so this will be equals to one out of six okay so that will be the fraction one out of six so you can see that the fraction one over four that he spends on food is bigger is uh, bigger than uh, one over six he spends on food okay so let's go to the next uh, question that be question five the table shows part of a tram um, timetable okay so this is new point and this is uh, west hill so all the trams take the same number of minutes to complete the journey from new point to west hill complete the table okay so what you need to do is to get the difference between this and this that is 11 17 and 10 uh, 30 so if you subtract this okay i think we can do something here okay so 11 17 so minus 10 uh, 30 okay so 17 minus 30 that's impossible so you borrow an r from 11 hours so you are left with 10 hours then one uh, uh, the one hour you borrow there is 60 minutes 
60 minutes plus 17 so that would be uh, 77 okay so if you do 77 minus 30 so you get 47 so zero minutes so that means you have uh, 47 minutes okay so if you do the same thing you can check here so with this okay since uh, all the train all the trams take the same number of minutes to complete the journey from new point to west hill okay so we can easily get the time here by adding 47 minutes to 12 uh, 18 but if you want to confirm you can also do 14 17 minus 13 30 so you should get 47 minutes as well okay so um now we can then do 12 18 add 47 minutes okay so if you add uh, 18 minutes to 47 minutes so that will be 65 minutes okay and that is equals to one hour five minutes so i can write zero five here so then 13 uh, 12 hours plus one hour that will be 13 hours so that will be 13 zero one okay so this uh, 13 zero five rather so we have 13 zero five so that will be the time uh, the tram gets to West Hill when uh, it leaves uh, New Points at 12.18. Okay, and the difference will still, uh, the difference remains 47 minutes. Question 6, write 0 0.04628 correct to two significant figures. So we are starting, okay, let me write it here, 0 0.04. Four six two eight. So this is the first significant figure. So you come from here one and two. Okay. So this is your decider. It tells you to round off, and when you round off, it becomes zero. Zero add six remains six. So that means our answer remains zero point zero four six. So that's what you get there. So let's go to the next question. Question seven on the uh, Venn diagram shade the region A union B. So you combine A and uh, U together. So you have to shade the whole of this. So let me just draw a line here. So you shade the whole of this. Okay. So you shade the whole of this like this. So this is A union B. So this is A union B. Then let's go to the next question. That will be question um, question eight, which is the last question in part one. So Kai invests five thousand dollars in an account, paying simple interest at the rate of R percent per year. So we have the uh, principal to be equals to five thousand dollars okay and the rate to be equals to r percent and at the end of eight years that is uh, t is equals to eight years okay and uh, the value of his investment is five thousand seven hundred so that is amount equals to um, five thousand seven hundred dollars okay so we know that uh, amount is equals to the principal plus the interest so the interest will be equals to the amount minus the principal so if you do this so the amount is five thousand seven hundred dollars minus the principal which is five thousand dollars so the interest is equals to um seven hundred dollars okay so I want to find the rate now. So using this formula, interest, the formula for interest equals to principal times the rate times the time. So since the interest is 700, so we write 700 equals to the principal. The principal is equals to 5,000 times the rate is R percent. Okay, that's R over 100 times T, which is 8. Okay. So from here, so you can multiply the uh, numerator, okay, 
you can cross okay you can have something like this 700 times okay let's reduce this instead of doing this so you can see this zero cancel the last zero here so this zero cancel the last zero here so we're left with 50 times 8 okay which is um 400 so you can do 700 equals to uh 400 times r that is r so now r equals to 700 divided by 400 so and the value of r will be equals to equal to 1.75 percent so let's write the final answer here 1.75 percent so this is the end of the solution to uh, part one in the next video i will solve questions from 9 to 16 that will be part two until then have your fingers crossed